Yeah, hello, my name is Muhammad Bilal and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can sort the array by using counting sort. So basically, counting sort is a sorting algorithm. If you've got array, you can sort the array by using counting sort. In this video, uh, actually like, you know, this array I've taken as an example and I'm gonna sort this array by using counting sort and as you can see like you know the array which I have taken as an example in this array you can see like 10 and 7 these both values are going to be repeat again like 7 is coming two times in the given array and 10 comes two times in the given array so I have to sort this array by using counting sort so in this video i'm going to show you how you can sort this array in which the value is repeating again and again and how you can sort this array by using counting sort so let's get started okay so first of all like you know when you are going to use counting sort for sorting the array so first of all like you know you have to see which value is a minimum and which value is a maximum in the given array which you are going to sort so as you can see the 4 is a minimum value in the given array and 10 is a maximum value in the given in the given array which you are going to sort so it means like you know the order is going to be 4 to 10 why 4 to 10 because like you know in the given array which you are going to sort in this array the 4 is a minimum value and 10 is a maximum value in the given array so it means like you know your order is going to be 4 to 10 so when you are going to use counting sort for sorting the array so there are some steps come so these steps are going to be following so the first step is going to be index you have to make index how are you gonna make it you have to make according to the order which you have taken it from the given array so as you can see like our order is 4 to 10 because like you know 4 is a minimum and 10 is a maximum value so that's why like you know you have to just make the index like this 4 5 6 7 8 9 and last one is 10 why i have taken the indexes 4 to 10 because our order was 4 to 10 and as you know like you know uh, i have taken this order from the given array so the first step has been completed now the next step is gonna be count so in the count you have to count that how many times the value is coming in the given array which you are going to sort so you can do it by using index this step so for 4 the first element is 4 so I see 4 how many times comes in the given array which I have to sort 4 comes only one time so I'm gonna write it down over here 1 so after that after that I check 5 5 doesn't come in the given array so i just write it down zero now i check six six comes only one time in the given array so i write it down one now i check seven seven comes two times in the given array so i'm gonna write it down two over here now after that i check eight eight doesn't come at all in the given array so i write it down zero now i check nine nine doesn't come at all so again i'm gonna write it down zero and the last one is ten again i check it ten comes one two two times so I write it down over here, 2. So that's how you can complete this step, which is the count. Now after count, the step is going to become is some count. So now I'm going to show you how you can take the sum count of count. So as you can see the count, the first element of the count is 1 so the first value you have to just write it down as it is in the sum count so it means 
the count, the sum count of one is going to be the same, which is one. So for the next value, the next element is zero. So for taking the sum count of zero, you have to check the previous values sum count. So the previous sum count is one, and the and you have to take the sum count of this value. So you have to add this one and that one. Means like you know you have to add the current value and you have to add it with the previous sum count and you have to add both of them then you will take the sum count of that value so 0 plus 1 is gonna be 1 so 1 is a sum count of 0 now the sum count of 1 is gonna be you have to add 1 and 1 so 1 plus 1 is gonna be 2 so that one is 2 now for 2 2 plus 2 is 4, so I write it down over here 4. Now 0 plus 4 is 4. Now again 0 plus 4 is 4, so the sum count of 0 is 4. The last value is 2, so you have to add 2 with 4, so 2 plus 4 is going to be 6. So that's how you can take the sum count of the count. You have to just like, you know, take it like this. Uh, the first element you have to just like you know, write it down as it is in the sum count like the count was one so you have to write down only one in the sum count of the first element now after that yeah when you are going to take the sum count of each element so you have to just like you know take it like this the like you know if you are going to take the sum count of this one so you have to take this value and add with the previous sum count and the answer which is going to become it will be the sum count of the of that value which you are going to take the sum count of so for 0 the sum count is gonna be 1 and for 1 the sum count is gonna be 2 like this so after that yeah the step comes of position so in position First of all, you have to check it like how many elements come in the given array which you are going to sort. So you have to count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it means like you know, 6 elements come in the given array which you have to sort. So it means you have to make 6 positions. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the last one is 6. Now after position, the last step in the counting sort algorithm is input sorted. Now in this step, the array is going to be sort. As we know, as we can see like you know six elements are coming in the given array which we have to sort. So first of all, I'm going to make six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and that one is a six. So I'm going to sort it like this. Now the first value is 10. So I check 10 in the index, 10 comes over here. Now the sum count of 10 is six. So in the position six, I'm going to write it down, 10. Now once I wrote it down 10 in the 6th position, now I have to detect 1 from the sum count of 10. So it was 6 before, now it's going to be 5. I did detect 1 or I did minus 1 from the sum count and after the like, you know, it became 5. Now moving on to the given array after 10, 7 comes. So again I check the sum count of 7 is 4 so in position 4 I'm gonna write it down 7 now again I detect or minus 1 from the sum count of 7 so now it's gonna be 3 now again going back to the given array after 7 6 comes so the sum count of 6 is 2 so in the position 2 I'm gonna write it down 6 
and in the sum count I detect 1 from the sum count it was 2 now it's gonna be 1 now after 6 the value comes is 7 so again I check it 7 the sum count of 7 is 3 so in the position 3 I'm gonna write it down 7 and again I detect 1 from the 3 so now it's gonna be 2 now after 7 10 comes so some count of 10 is 5 so in position 5 I'm gonna write it down 10 over here now I decline 1 from the sum count it was 5 now it's gonna be 4 now the last value of the L of the given array is 4 so 4 comes over here and the sum count of 4 is 1 so in position 1 I'm gonna write it down 4 over here now I minus 1 from the sum count now it's going to be 0 so that's how you can sort the array by using counting sort and you have to remember like you know you can sort that array in which the values the values are going to repeat again and again so when the values are going to be repeat again and again so you have to just follow to that procedure and you can sort the array by using counting sort so I hope you understood how you can sort the array, uh, especially that array.